welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today, I'm going to share with you about a project we did a couple of weeks ago. It's about a network infrastructure of a company who contacted us saying that most of their Wi-Fi users cannot connect to their Wi-Fi network and access the internet. So we went there and fixed the issue. Now the company who contacted us said the company who contracted with them cannot fix the issue for almost three years for that period of time. We went there for two nights, fixed the issue, and that's it. It's done. Now I'm going to point out the key problems that they have here. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to give you the details of the project. I wasn't able to take a video because we're uh, having time issues. So I just took pictures for our documentation and this is how it looks like and we need to fix it as well. So I don't know if this is how they fix networks, but maybe at the very first time they installed these devices, they made it good, but because of troubleshooting and troubleshooting and they didn't have proper documentation, that's why they made a mess out of the network infrastructure. So the first thing we did was to gather all the information that we can so that we're not going to mess everything out since it is production time. And we need to trace which is connected to which, what are the IP addresses that are being used and what are the current configuration that they have. So those are the things that we need to gather first before we can continue. Okay, so one of the things that did not provide was the network layout. We built this one out. This is the final configuration of uh, the things that we did there. But before that, let's go there and mark it. So this was the problem. Um, we, we already changed the IP address to this one. Now, the IP address before we changed that one was 172.17.3.0. That one slash 24. So if you try to see the network of this one and then you compare it with everybody on this Wi Fi network here, you try to see this one. That's why most of their Wi Fi users are not able to connect to the internet because this is this network here is slash 22. You try to see this one, the network of this, that one this network is inside this network so that's the problem it's a basic subnetting skills this is overlapping the ip addressing that they did here try to see that that one so we are on 17.0.0 slash 22 okay so it is overlapping that's why there are few people who can connect but most of them weren't able to connect because if they are going to hit that, if this router is going to translate all those IP going to this other router here, then it says, what? You're using the same network that I'm using here or some of your network IPs there is inside my network here. So that's the problem. So what we did was change this one so that it will be a totally different network from this. If you try to see this one, and then if you try to see the subnet that we're into, that's 24 and that's 22. Now, maybe some of you would argue this is 24. Yes, it's 24. It's a different network. But if you try to compute this IP through subnetting, then you will be overlapping this IP network here. So that's the problem. That's why all the wired, the wired clients here, wired clients here are good. They are all good because nobody's overlapping with them. You try to see they are on 16 and slash 24. That's totally different network. And of course, the other network card that's connected to their server is not having a problem. And yeah, like what I've said, everybody that is connected on the LAN network was okay. But on the Wi-Fi, it's not because again, subnetting the ip addressing was wrong it's totally wrong after we made all the configurations correct then we cleaned up all the cables this is how it looks like it looks very neat and clean way better than the first one you've seen they are using microtech router in a microtech switch then you have the modem router at the back the white one and we have a non-manageable switch which is d-link then they are using a managed wi-fi system which is unify then a Dell server that hosts the management system of the company. We're just cleaning up things here, taking some photos. Yeah, and this is how it looks like. Yeah, and this is the team that we work with. Thank you very much, Oriza, for having us in Believing in Torogi Pro. I hope you're having a speedy Wi-Fi right now and internet connection out there. Um, until next time, thank you for having us.
Don't forget to hit subscribe in my YouTube channel and let's make a dream of 500,000 subscribers. See you in my next video guys. Bye-bye.